It was an accident, Dad. You've already said that. I'm tired of it. What happened, Keith? I don't think Finnegan pushed JJ, but I don't think he's completely innocent either. What do you mean? What if he knows more than what he's saying? What if he's covering for someone? Covering for who? His son. What if Keith pushed JJ off of those stairs? Your words mean nothing to me anymore, Wanda. Not anymore. For our daughter's sake, we'll remain married. But emotionally, I don't know where our marriage stands. One thing I know for sure is that I won't be sleeping in the same bed as you. Not when I'm not sure if you're fantasizing about another man as you lay beside me. You're 15% for my silence. The choice is yours, Clarice. Fine, I'll sign them over. How was the Labor Day picnic at the estate? It was a success, Pacho. Seeing the estate for the first time was surreal. It's crazy to know that I should have grown up in that big mansion. But Clarice just had to get rid of my mama and pretend like I never even existed. You'll show her how much of a mistake she made. Once you get a hold of Russo Jewelers, she already knows she made a big mistake once I got her to sign over 15% of her shares to me. How did you enjoy the first day of school, baby? I couldn't really enjoy it much since I spent the day wondering if JJ was going to live or not. Just stay positive, Yvette, and trust that he'll pull through. Your mother and I need to speak with you. And it's not good news, is it? Baby, I just want you to know that what we have to say isn't based on anything that you've done. Can you just tell me what's going on, Mom? I told your father about he knows what happened between Owen and I. Thanks for dropping me off at the hospital, Max. You don't have to thank me. Besides, I enjoy spending as much time with you as I can. This has to be the worst start of senior year that I've ever had. Don't get me wrong, I'm thankful that I've got you and I was glad to have you with his support. But it felt so wrong not having JJ there today. He'll be at school eventually. Just trust that God will help your brother to wake up. Until then, I promise to be by your side, Vanessa. Whatever you need, I'll be right here for you. What's going on here? It's an emergency, Harley. What I have to explain can't be said over the phone. Okay, Finnegan. I'll be over there as soon as I can. What do you think you're doing here? To find out whether your son put my son in the hospital. Vivian Jones, you never cease to amaze me. I doubt it was easy to get those shares from her. Not easy, but it was simple. I told her that I was her husband's bastard, who she never spoke about. But that's not what made her give you the shares. I bet she was horrified. I had that lady shaken in her boots, Pacho. But that's exactly how I got her to hand over the majority of her shares to me. Since she didn't want me telling Lorenzo who I was, she offered me 15% of Russo Jewelers. What about Ben? She's going to figure out that he lied to her and confront him about it. No, she won't, because I promised her that if she told Ben or anyone else in the family that I've got shares to the company, then I'd go run and tell Lorenzo everything. Now you've got 20% of Russo Jewelry's shares. I don't think that going after everyone in the family will be that simple, though, Viv. You told me that you weren't going to say anything, Mom. You promised. I know, Yvette. Then why would you break your promise? Why would you risk tearing our family apart like this? Because it wasn't fair to you. It was never right of me to ask you to hide something so heavy from your father. Keeping it from dad wasn't driving me crazy, mom. Not since you told me that your kiss with Owen meant nothing. Now we won't be a family anymore. Listen to me. The three of us will always be a family. Nothing will ever change that and no one will ever take that away. What's making you decide to stay with mom? You kicked her out before because she never told you that Alvaro Russo cheated on you with Devante Torres. How come you'd forgive mom for kissing Owen? Where's dad? 
I sure hope you're not trying to avoid what I just asked you, young lady. Mom, I, Max and I, we're together. I promise you I was going to tell you and dad, but JJ. All right, that's fair. Are you okay with Vanessa and I being together, Mrs. Dorval? I've noticed how much you've grown these past several months, Max. You've been a good friend to my daughter. I want you to keep treating her right. But I'm going to have to speak with Mr. Dorval about this when I get the chance. Hello, Shelly. Isabel, thank you so much for coming. Of course. I can't even imagine what you and your family are going through right now. Since you Lisa, wanted to stop by, I wanted to let you know that you have my full support. You shouldn't even be here. Not when you and your family have a restraining order against my son. Did he follow that restraining order on Labor Day, Finnegan? What are you talking about? Of course he did. Like I told you on Labor Day, I didn't bring him with me. I believe that, but I bet you were surprised when you saw Keith hovering over my son in the Russo estate after he pushed him over the stair railing. It's my job to figure out whether a crime has been committed, not yours. And since I am police commissioner, I want you to leave right now or else I'll have you arrested for trespassing. Fine, I'll leave. But I want you to remember something. God sees everything. So if Keith did push JJ that day, nothing you do will ever change the fact that whatever is done in the dark will always come to the light. Jeremiah, what are you doing here? Going after everyone else's shares won't be easy, but you and I know how divided the Russos can be when trying to gain more power. I just need to use that against them. All right, since you've got Ben and Clarissa's shares now, whose shares are you going after next? The next step is to go after one of my brother's shares. I just have to figure out which one is most likely to be more generous. I forgave your mother because I love her. So you weren't angry when you found out? It didn't break your heart to find out what mom did? Maybe this is my fault. Maybe I should have just went to Alvira's gravesite and kept the secret from coming out. None of this is your fault, Yvette. Of course it broke my heart when your mother told me what happened. But I eventually came to realize that it was better. That she told me instead of finding out on my own. Besides, she told me the kiss meant nothing. And I believed her. Just like I'm sure you believed your mother too. Yeah, I did. And I need you to believe that I'm not going to let Owen Grant destroy our family. Okay, Dad. I'm really glad that you and mom were able to talk things out. I love you. And I love you more. I hope you feel good about yourself, knowing that I just lied to our daughter's face. I would have come with Max and Vanessa after school, but I didn't want to come without getting JJ a get well soon card. Thank you so much, Ulyssa. JJ is definitely going to appreciate this once he wakes up and reads it. Am I allowed to see him? Of course. Vanessa, can you take her? Okay, mom. How are you holding up, Shelly? I'm really trying not to go crazy, but I'm doing my best to remember that JJ is in God's hands and that God has everything under control. I'm just so amazed that you and your family continue to hold on to your faith through such tough times. Seeing how Ulyssa has grown this past year, being friends with your kids and going to your church, I've always felt like she was so amazing, but your family is really a great influence on her. Your daughter's a blessing, Isabel. She certainly is. And JJ is a blessing too, Shelly. I'm sure that God will provide a miracle for your family and wake him up soon. Don't worry, I was just about to leave. What was that about? JJ. Okay, why does Jeremiah have to come here to discuss his son? Especially since Keith is upstairs in his room and not legally allowed anywhere near Jeremiah or his family. Because what I'm about to tell you, Harley, I not only need you as my lawyer, but as a woman I love. You're worrying me now, Finnegan. You already know that I went over to the Russo estate on Labor Day to try and speak with Heidi about Keeve's upcoming trial, which I wish you would have mentioned beforehand because I would have advised against it. Harley, you have no idea how much I wish I would have stayed away. But if you weren't there, you wouldn't have found JJ and gotten him help. And I would have kept an eye on Keeve. What does Keeve have to do with any of this? Wasn't he here on Labor Day? He was supposed to stay home. Instead, he went over to the Russo estate and JJ saw him. According to Keeve, the two of them exchanged words, then things got heated and Keeve, he, he ended up pushing JJ over the steel railing. Either Gianni or Esidor are the next in line to take over the company. Your brothers are greedy. 
how do you expect to get shares from them? Figure out their deepest, darkest secret? Not at all. I plan to gain their trust and, to be honest, I'm going to explain to them that I got shares to the company. Hold up. Why would you take that risk, Viv? Don't stress. When have I ever had a plan that failed? I'm sorry that you had to do that, Udell. I take full accountability. It's not like you have any other option, Wanda. And keep your apologies. How long are we going to be like this? We can't keep on being at odds and sleeping in separate rooms forever. That's right. We can't keep doing this forever. Because I'm not sure how long our marriage will survive after Yvette's probation is over. And when all of her community service is accomplished. Keeping our daughter from ending up in prison is the only thing saving our marriage at this point. Do any of you want anything from the vending machine? Thanks, Max, but I'll be okay. I'll go with you. I'd like to see what's available. We'll be right back, Ulyssa. JJ, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I didn't realize something was wrong. This was the last thing I expected to happen when you didn't come back right away. Lord, I need JJ in my life. Please spare his life. Lord, you are good, and despite this situation, you are still good. I pray that you would wake JJ up really soon. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay strong, JJ. Fight and come back to us. Come back to me. Oh my goodness, Finnegan. He told me it was an accident. Still, Keith is to get nowhere near any of the Durvals. If JJ says anything, Keeve will go straight to prison and you won't be able to do anything to stop it. Maybe Keeve can deny being there. JJ is schizophrenic. We can just say that he's confused if he wakes up. I get that you want to protect your son, Finnegan, but you can't take that chance. I know this isn't what you want, but Keeve needs to turn himself in because he's already facing the charges for stalking Vanessa Durval and intimidating Max. If JJ says Keeve pushed him, JJ will most likely be believed. Schizophrenia or no schizophrenia. Keeve won't be able to survive in prison, Harley. Then we'll try to make sure he doesn't get a huge sentence. Prison might just be the best place for him. You can ensure that he gets professional help in there and use your influence as police commissioner to make sure he's protected. All right, I'll at least think about it. Can you just give me several days to come up with an answer? I hope that JJ doesn't wake up before then because time is not our friend Finnegan. Keith, I need to speak with you about something. 